Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to episode 5 of our user challenges series. And in today's episode, I'll do a couple of your challenges first and then towards the end of the video, I'll show you guys the solution to my stinger that I posted in the last episode. So hopefully you guys had fun with it and managed to figure out the solution. And with that said, let's start with our first challenge. So since the update came out a few days ago, I really couldn't resist putting in a gear challenge just because I like the map so much. But I'll admit it's one of the more difficult maps in the game and it might not be the worst idea to maybe put gear into the expert maps. I don't know, tell me what you guys think about this. But um, anyways, going back to the challenge. Uh, we're playing with Bloom Speed and Moab Speed increased and increased health on the ceramics and the Moabs. We can only have a maximum of 2 towers but we can sell and usual stuff with 1 life, uh, no, no continuous and no monkey knowledge. And so here's something that I, talk about, that I talked about in my uh, update video and you can clearly see it right here in, in actual challenges that um, usually the cross paths that are available, yeah talking about the, I'm talking about the pet uh, restrictions right. So look, looking at these monkeys, look at what happens. We have a 043 heli, a 222 super monkey, 233 spike factory and a 224 engineer. So what does this tell us? Well, these restrictions uh, immediately tell us uh, which upgrades we are supposed to be using, right? Because uh, if you look at the heli, for example, it's a 043 heli. So that means that we are probably going to be buying a 04 something heli to blow back some balloons, right? Uh, the best cross path on the super monkey is 202. Um, the best spy factory cross path is 230. And then the engineer is probably going to get used with the balloon strap now. Um, I haven't seen the challenge, but I'm. if we just buy these towers, I'm fairly certain that uh, those are the key towers and we're gonna win. And this is kind of uh, the problem with these path restrictions, right? Because, uh, sure, they restrict you from buying something and they might make the challenge easier, but then they are kind of pointing you towards a solution. So, let's see what this challenge is about. Alright, so rounds 31 and 32 on ABR. Uh, I don't know what's uh, what's coming in these rounds, I really don't know the ABR rounds, but uh, 20k, 1 life, and let's hit the play and see what happens. Okay, so they are very fast. That was a regrow black and uh, camo white, I think. So going back to the cross pads, I'm just gonna drop a 2 or 2 super monkey and see what happens. Yeah, he's defending. And that was the round, wow. Okay, that was a super simple round. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so rainbows. He's dealing with them. Another one. And a ceramic, and the ceramic is too beefy. So we need something else. Well, actually, if you remember those cross paths, we had a 224 engineer allowed, so that means getting this. Oh, sorry, this is uh, round 31 first. Okay, so let's do this. And let's have this guy like, um, let's have him like here. Well, that's not the best idea actually, but whatever. Because the wheel is gonna rotate and he's gonna be here on the next round and we needed him kind of like here or maybe even towards the front, it doesn't matter. So we go like this, can we afford the balloon trap? Yes, we can. Okay. And the ceramic is gonna go into the balloon trap. And another one, okay, it filled up. And another one. And there's a purple balloon, okay, so the super monkey is not gonna work. Well, the balloon trap is gonna work, but uh, we need to refresh the balloon trap. So how do we do that? Well, we could get a heli. It was a, it was a 043 heli that was allowed, so I'm guessing that's it. Like a... A Chinook Heli and the Bloom Trap for round 32. I know, let's let's buy this guy and uh, try not to come back to round 31 again. So I uh, say that and look at what happens. Let's have it like here or something. So I'm gonna try and not have to come back to round 31. Um, but um, yeah, that's that's my strategy for uh, for 32. I'm gonna drop a Bloom Trap and then a Heli and see what happens. We actually need to sell, I think, uh, now looking back at it, uh, the blue trap and hold two ceramic blooms, so that means that um, we 
we get two and then we sell the balloon trap so, I, so that he can immediately drop a new one and we're gonna stall with the Chinook Heli yeah that's the plan okay so let's go like this drop the trap and then um, what do we do well I'm gonna sell actually it was four rainbows I think so I'm gonna sell the um, I'm gonna sell the super right now and I'm gonna get a Chinook while well, down draft okay so absorb that one sell and then get a new balloon trap oh I wasn't fast enough but I think that's the solution okay so let's go one more time okay so the super is for uh, rainbow DPS and then well I could drop the trap now just in case nah it doesn't matter okay so that's the solution right uh, we absorb two ceramics with the balloon trap oh, well first of all we kill the rainbows with the um, let me just buy this. So we kill the rainbows with the super. And then we sell the super for a heli. For a downdraft heli. And in the meantime we gotta be fast on um, selling this guy. And buying another balloon trap. And see what happens. So let me slow things down. That's the rainbows. Maybe one more. Yep, one more. There's the ceramic. So sell. Move it out of the way. Absorb that one. Sell and buy the new one. And the new one is up. Absorb, absorb. And... I think that's it. Yes, GG. Alright, so this next one is called Concerned. A maximum of two monkeys. Uh, and we can select our hero. So no continues. Slower blooms actually for a change. Uh, ceramic health increased. Uh, no monkey knowledge, no selling. And no powers. And we are playing on Chimps mode. Okay, so like half of the towers are disabled and um, so because there's no selling that means that and we have a maximum of two towers that means that we just need to find the right combination whatever it is. So let's see what the challenge is about. Okay, so rounds 40 through 45 with 25k and 50 lives. Okay, so it's a Moab round 40 so they're gonna come out like this. This is the first round, the second, so 40, 41, 42, 42. 3, 44, and 45, right? So, uh, is there a sub? Yes, there is a sub. Hmm. So, how do we defend with the sub? I think the sub is the best choice because it can cover all lanes as long as it has vision. But we cannot provide vision for the sub on all lanes, right? So can we individually defend all lanes? Let's think about this. Uh, it was slower Moabs, but then beefier ceramics. So how do we defend all four lanes? And also there are camo blooms. So camos on 42 and 45. So it's 40 here, 41, 42. So this is one of the uh, one of the camo rounds. Then 43, 44, and 45. All right. So we need camo detection on these two lanes. And then these side lanes, uh, no camos on them. So what has camo detection? Which towers have camo detection? Well, this guy has camo. Uh, 50 lives, so... Uh, we can buy the ODS, I guess. Is that gonna be enough? Yeah, that's gonna be enough versus the camos for sure. And around 40, actually. And he has global presence. So maybe the ace with uh, what sniper has global presence. What else? How about the sub, but um, I don't know how to do this with the sub. Because the sub needs um, needs vision basically on all four lanes and if we put it like here in the middle, it's gonna cover two lanes by itself. And for example, if it's a 400 sub, then it's gonna take care of all of the uh, camos by itself. Well, it's gonna decamo them. I'm not sure if it's gonna take care of them, but it's gonna decamo them. So let's try it with, um, I don't know, let's try it with an ace and see how we do. As the first tower and what do we need uh, yeah spy plane for sure um what's the second tower though maybe a sniper um like uh this this guy this looks fine actually okay so that's 40 c41 well 41 is actually 
an easy round, so I think the sniper is going to clear it out by himself. Uh, 42, we are... Um, well, the ace positioning might not have been the best, actually. Yeah, I needed to switch the ace positioning uh, below the sniper. I think that's, uh, that's a good positioning. Because of this, yes, exactly. He's leaking too much. Let's restart and uh, place the ace right here. And then do everything the same. So, fear 8... Just uh, keep it there, and then this guy goes on strong. And these are fast rounds, by the way, so... Um, yeah. We are earning cash, so do we need to buy something while we are earning cash? Maybe an, an upgrade, something like that? I don't know. So let's see, round 41, it's an easy one. Round 42, let's see how we do versus the camos. I think uh, this guy is gonna defend. We've got 50 lives, that's not a lot, but... I think he should do fine. Okay, so that was embarrassing. Uh, let's go round 42 one more time. Okay. Well, that was very decent actually. 45 lives left. Are we defending? Ah, you bet you are. 44. Um, we should take care of this one, no problem. And then 45. I'm worried only about the um, uh, camel purples on 45. That's it. Really? Was this the challenge? That was super easy, man. Okay, let's let's give ourselves a challenge. Let's try and find like uh, one more solution or something like that. Let's go again. That was too. All right, so I found two more solutions uh, to this challenge, and both of those solutions were based around finding camo detection that works. So, for example, because the camo rounds are in the middle, so in the middle left and the middle right lane, that means that if we can cover both of those lanes with camo detection, the sniper is going to take care with. Uh, he's going to take care of everything, well almost everything, because he needs some help on round 43. So as you can see, I am unsubmerging my sub here to help out the sniper, and then submerging it again. And that's it, that's the solution basically. Um, so all of, all three of the solutions include the sniper, because the sniper has global range and he's very good on this challenge. But uh, the second tower is basically a uh, sniper, uh, sorry, a super monkey. And it's a 0-2-2 Super Monkey and the reason why it's 0-2-2 is because there are Camo Purples and we cannot upgrade to, of course, uh, Plasma and, and Laser Blasts. So we're keeping it 0-2-2 and the positioning is kind of weird between um, the left lane and the middle right lane. So that, as I said, uh, the Sniper needs some help on round 43 and this guy reaches 43 with his uh, long range upgrades. Uh, and then, um, you know, he, he also reaches round 45 at the rightmost lane and we are finishing this with only the four lives we, we lose at the, in the first round uh, to the Moabs, so um, GG's. Alright, so this next one is called 5G 4X's Challenge and to be honest I really didn't want to do a third one but because the, the previous one was very easy I thought we, we couldn't end on that one. So we're playing on easy deflation, we can buy one spec, one spectory, one spike factory um, Unlimited Druids, I guess, and no Monkey Knowledge, the standard stuff, no Monkey Knowledge, but no Disables on the Moabs and the Ceramics and the Blooms, actually. So normal Blooms, that's uh, that's good to know. Around 50 with um, almost 11k. Okay, so let's see what we got. Uh, we are playing on easy, prices are super low, and um, let's buy the factory and see what well, the factory and see what happens. Wait, let's actually think about this. So what's around 50? We've got um, one Moab. Uh, followed by LEDs, followed by ceramics, and then followed by another MOAP. So what is our LED popping power? We've got these, the white hot spikes, and then can we afford the spike mines? No. Well, that was ambitious, honestly. But um, let's play like this just to see how things flow. So do it like this, and then um, drill the storm, go on last, storm swarm, and then what can we buy? Maybe another heart of thunder? Yes, storm swarm. And let's see what happens. So we are barely doing any damage to the mob with the Druids, but the idea, I guess, is... Well, <laughs> there's no idea, but... Um, oops. No, that was very bad. 
That was very bad. Let's try and, and figure something out. And no top spectre upgrades, I think. Can we buy the Spike Storm though? Let's see. Uh, so do it like this. Only 2k left. We can afford it though. So let's do the same thing. Let's go Heart of Thunder and then this guy. Uh, yeah, Thorn Swarm. And see what happens. So we need to wait for the LEDs to pop so that they uh, don't uh, absorb the ability. And let's, I guess, use the ability. See, this is the problem. This guy, the Druid, um, he's very weak. Well, his Thunder is very weak versus Ceramics, but it's awesome versus normal Blooms. So I'm guessing we need to time the ability to pop as many Ceramics as possible with uh, with the ability and then um, have the, the Heart of Thunder Druid clean up. So go like this, go like this. And wait for the ability as long as possible. So let's pop the LEDs first. Nice, that was a nice pop. Uh, wait for the ceramics to come out and use the ability like now. Okay, that's a lot of the ceramics pop. That's all of them, almost all of them. I, I see one. That was awesome. Okay, now for the last Moab. So how do we do this? Uh, let's quickly sell, sell, buy this guy, buy another one. And pray, I guess. Let's do hard thorns. Can we do it? The ability is not gonna come up full on, is it? That was one green, come on, man. Aw, oh, damn. Let's go again. That was some beautiful ability timing, honestly. Okay, so let's go again, see what happens. Uh, use the ability now. That was decent. Yeah, that was decent. That was fine. And uh, what do we do? Sell this guy for a druid here. Get him to Thorn Swarm. Because that's some very value Moab damage right there. It's like that. And if we're going super try hard. Yeah, sure we are. Sell and buy him right, right here. Sell and then that guy's fine. The ability is still not coming off cooldown. But yes, we take it down. Nice. So I'm gonna be showing you guys only 3 rounds from my challenge, so 95, 99 and 100 because 96 through 98 can be built with 1 tower and that's the 5th tier bloom trap. And so there are a lot of things going on, I'm trying to be as efficient as possible with the 5th uh, tier bloom trap that I'm dropping and selling the engineer because the trap stays. And then this guy, the ultra boost has... Um, well, he's doing two things at once. The first thing is he's dropping the cleansing foam which is gonna remove uh, for uh, sorry uh, camo state from the DDTs and then we're waiting for the overclock cooldown and we're using it on one tower on uh, one of the crossbow masters and uh, an interesting interaction here is that uh, even if you sell the tower the ultra boost the buff is going to stay and that's very important and so after we do that we sell one of the ultra boosts buy another one and then again wait for the cooldown and in the meantime he's dropping cleansing phones which is very important as well we use the uh, the second ultra boost on the second crossbow master, and we go into super glue very fast. And those DDTs that got decamoed by the super uh, sorry by the cleansing foam are going to get uh, st uh, struck by uh, and hit by the uh, by the super glue. And that's round 95. Now there's a little bit of RNG in this, and I uh, reduced the Moab HP to about 70% to reduce the RNG as much as possible while still, you know, uh, keeping the challenge the same. But yeah. So round 99 is basically the same principle, but you know we're starting again with the the uh, fifth tier bloom trap. This is just me being efficient, nothing too crazy. Buying the um, second crossbow crossbow master, although I'm not sure if all of these things are needed, but still uh, buying the super glue and then having uh, this guy, the engineer monkey, the the cleansing foam basically to remove the fortified state off of these DDTs. And that's about it. After it has dropped a couple of cleansing foams, we uh, sell it and buy the second crossbow master for DPS. And that's the round. And so, coming into round 100, that's probably... If you if you have figured out everything up until this point, then you can figure out one 100. It's a very easy round. So we buy DPS, uh, we buy the Sentry Paragon, we buy two crossbow masters. And then... Um, you know, you deal with the DDTs in a very, 
well it's not a cheesy way it's not a very you know clever way but i just like the way that this works and so we sell the century paragon the centuries stay and we buy a cleansing foam and then when this guy pops when the bat pops the deities are because they're faster they're gonna run through the cleansing foam they're gonna get uh, their uh, for their uh, sorry their camo state removed and then we buy a balloon trap at the end to uh, eat both of the deities and then another balloon trap to take care of the ZOMGs so GG's